Oh, well, hey everybody, welcome back to another video, another corn harvest video. And hopefully, the final corn harvesting video of the year. We're gonna be moving down south to the last field of the year. Beautiful. I love the rumbly noises that this combine makes. Okay, truck's filled up with brake fluid. That's going on the combine. And I'm gonna take the grain cart. We're gonna be using the 180 for this field. Since we're just gonna be trucking it and the truck doesn't even hold a, even a full grain cart load, there's no point in even having to down there. Except for extra storage when you're doing headlands or something, but that then we're still they have one full cart and then that'd be another truckload that he have to worry about. Boy, that's a pretty tight fit there. Woo! Wow. Let's see, make sure I fit through here. Oh yeah. That bridge gets a little scary sometimes. So I'm glad we made it. When we got the corn head on, we'll go a different way than that way right there. But the other way has a really low power line and well, that combine is okay with going through it. I just get really nervous with this uh, beacon sticking up right up, up here. I just get a little nervous sometimes. And we're off. Got a corner, corner in here opened up. He's gonna go over to that end and open up that corner, unload, then go over here. Try to take off those headlands over there where the shorter rows are. I don't know, this feels laid out kind of weird. I might get onto maps or field view or something and show you guys how this feels laid out. It's it's a little little uh little messed up. And actually the last field of soybeans that we did, which you guys I actually pulled up a picture of Google Maps showed you guys that and this field. Uh the far, the field that we got down as combining soybeans on is across this little laneway here and in those trees so nice little 30 is 30 33 ish acre field this is i think a 36 acre field so we'll uh we'll see what we got let's look at him go yeah i think he might be he might be splitting gears i don't know all right well it's my turn to uh to go and uh i messed up already loading up that truck uh I uh, hit the wrong CV hydraulic CV lever on the Magnum for it for that for the auger not the gate for the flow gate but I caught it before the auger started folding back so it was only open for like not even half a second so it didn't do anything um, so but yeah I had to shut it off with the auger full which is not good on it so yeah the auger's got to stay out for now That's the, I'm gonna make it to the end, no matter what attitude right there. She's full. Now I gotta unload. And then I also saw a code, not really a code, but a warning that came up on my screen. Right as soon as I lifted up the header and it said something about the rotor and the fan, I don't know if that was like was I was stopping or what it was doing. I hope it wasn't an actual issue. The only thing I can think of that I would be extremely nervous about is a belt that snapped, but I never heard anything. I'm not sure why, but the combine won't turn on. And it doesn't give me any reasons why that would be the case. It doesn't say anything, I just go to hit the button or hit the switch and nothing happens. It doesn't, uh, doesn't appear to be. I don't know. It's a little confusing. I mean, I got a truckload anyway, so it's not like I could get much or more anything done. But uh, I think we found the problem. 
Same problem that we had with our old combine a few years ago, actually. That explains the problem. Well, hey everybody. It's uh, the next day now. Combine's fixed. Had a guy from Berkey's come out and he, uh, he did everything for us because we didn't feel like fixing it. You can call us lazy if you want, but that's a bigger fix and would take more time for two amateurs to fix that than, norm than most people. So I'm putting uh, keys in the tractors. I'm letting that combine warm up. I'm gonna test fire it, make sure everything's working the way that it should. And then uh, once I conclude that everything's going good, then we're gonna start uh, start the combine. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if, if this uh, works or not. One thousand RPMs. Ha 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 ha. Headers on. That's going. No alarms. We're good rocker and roller, baby. I think we need a grain car driver. Truck sitting and waiting. It's good, which is a good thing, because that means I don't have to stop. It's just a bad thing, because that means we can go faster. It's just, well, we just physically simply can't. So, uh, I'll definitely have a truckload for him once I get this done, but I'm I'm all done with the headlands for now, so it should be pretty good going now, so shouldn't take much to get going now. Uh, hopefully she shouldn't be waiting as long or at all. I actually wasn't really waiting at all, but uh, so maybe we need a crank car driver, I don't know. Alright, but well, we're building a good pile there. It amazes me how much combines can hold. They don't look like they can hold even 200 bush. That's way too much for that truck, by the way. That He is not going to even get anywhere close to empty. I just figured I would put that for the record. Very trashy. It's kind of binding up right there. I don't know if one of our deck plates isn't set where it should be or not. I'm not sure, but... But, uh, so I'm just running at about three and a half to 3.6 miles an hour. Uh, our moisture is 15%, so that dialed. Uh, 219 bushels, this, but uh, I think the average is only gonna go up. I'm seeing maybe 230, 235 in this field, probably. Look at him go. He's putzing there in the old two-ton truck. Look at him go. He's just giving her. Wet spot right there. A little bit of pukey corn here, right here, too. Yeah. I mean, it's going pretty good otherwise. Uh, it's maker's done. Hopefully, our my grain car driver will uh, be here soon. It's not Reed, because Reed, yeah, like I said, Reed has stuff to do. So, we found a replacement, part time replacement. He usually only helps us once a year. Uh, once or twice a year if we need it. I went and helped him actually this year, so he's just repaying the favor, right? Yeah, see here's another wet spot. We'll just go full blast on first gear for this, because there's no point to not. Perfect. Unloading. This is some great corn. Wow. It's not even coming in the corn head. We'll get lucky if you get a year or two as it's on the corn head. Yeah, deer damage, man, I tell you what. And just really bad soil down in here. Well, things have been going pretty good. We just had a quick little dinner break, and guess what? I got a rain car driver. We've finally broken through the longer passes now. No waterways for a while. Longer passes are only gonna get longer from here. So, uh, things have been going pretty good. 
I would say. We're looking at about 14 to 15 percent moisture, 214 bushels the acre of the corn in the back there where those headlines were that I was showing you guys earlier from deer damage. That knocked off a lot. Uh, 18 acres, we've got 227,751 pounds, 4,000, about a little bit over 4,000 bushels, six and a half acres an hour, a little bit less, and spent three hours on this field. So, not bad. Not bad at all. And now we sit and wait. Oh, there he is. He made it. Look at him go. I'm going to wait it. I'm gonna wait a minute, and then I'm gonna get up and back up to combine it again. Oh, bathroom break, cause I'm full. And Dad just got here. And this corn is some of the dirtiest corn, I think, that we've combined all ding dang year. And that is a promise right there. This stuff is dirty, but uh, Look at this, look how the chaff is doing. Just shredding it. This is some of the best work I've seen out of that thing all for like the past six years. I've never seen it mutilate corn like this. Come on, John. Yeah, get that thing going. I think it's getting a little more comfortable in there now. Look at that. Like a freaking natural right there. Perfect, my beacon's on and everything. I'm gonna start it loading right now. Look at that, smooth entrance. It took 25 seconds to get it from over there to here and me dumping on them, so. We're all good now. Well, here we go. The last six of the night. Not the year, but just of the night. We're done after this. There we go. That's a wrap for tonight. We got quite a bit done. We got like 25 acres done, which for as short of a time frame as we had, that's pretty good. Oh, well, hey everybody. It's next day now. I'm gonna run the combine for a little bit. Um, and then I think my mom's gonna come in and she's gonna run the combine, I think. Um, so, but uh, I'll get some more seat time tonight. All right, so I just got up and going here. Uh, I went like 100 feet. And uh, I'm going to be doing a crop calibration now just to make sure that everything's still working right. Just going to do one and then if it's fairly, if it's within 100 pounds or a little over that, then I think we're going to leave it the same. But if it's anything more than that, I think we're going to have to keep doing it again so we get a little more spot on. Um, so, yeah. But other, overall, it's going good so far. Like I said, only went about 300 feet so far, so I can't really say... I can't, uh, can't really say a lot, but eh, oh well, it is kind of what it is sometimes. Well, I just went to go start the truck, and I go to, I look, I said, that, that gas pedal looks a little funny. It's the gas pedal. The gas pedal just completely cl came clean off. I guess the bolts broke, I guess, is what it looks like, because it mounts on the bottom and it just kind of pivots like this. I wonder when I did that. Well, I got booted from my uh, combining job. Actually, that's the longest thing I've ever combined for two consecutive days in a row, or at least 48 hours, which is kind of nice. I like running the combine quite a bit. Now it's uh, now it's my turn to run the grain cart. And I had not ran the grain cart at all on this field, besides this like 20, like 24-ish rows on this headland. That's all I've ran the grain cart for, and I've combined everything else. So, not quite used to this. There he goes. 22, 22, a little bit. A little bit under 23,000 pounds on that load right there. Here we go. Last pass of the year. Last unload on the go of the year, too. Nice. Haven't really been waiting for this day. This season felt like it went awfully fast compared to uh, other years, but in, but uh, we uh, I was doing some 
figuring just earlier when I was waiting on her to get back to the other end and uh, I was just thinking I think we've been on corn harvest really in it for the only like 12 days if that because one full week ago it was last Tuesday now seven days then um, then after that um, and let's see Tuesday Monday is eight days Sunday nine days we've been only on corn harvest for 12 days and we're done now the opposite and we were all we were on soybeans for like three weeks now next year it's probably gonna be the opposite way we're gonna be on corn harvest for a long time because we're gonna be very corn heavy next year with new farms picking up and just the way our rotation is anyway we are we were already gonna be uh, over uh, we we're already going to be more more on corn acres next year than we were this year, but now, now like 60 acres that we picked up. Yeah, we've uh, that's going to change a lot for our size of operation. 50 acres is going to do a lot. Breakdowns, uh, snap belts, snap pulleys, broken corn heads, and it all came down to that last three rows. Man, that's a good feeling. Final dump. Kind of sad, I'll be honest. Actually, it's not really the final dump. That 180 cart's got stuff in it too, so we're not. We're not totally done yet. Final dump of the year. Kind of sad. A little sad, actually. There it goes. Oh gosh, the last of the corn. This is it. Right here. That was all there was. That was all, that's all she wrote for corn of 2024. So, that's it. So, appreciate you guys for staying with us this year. It's been definitely different with uh, having people carrying cameras and getting cameras shoved in people's faces. That's uh, something I don't think that my people were expecting out of someone like me would be the best way to say it. And uh, just appreciate you guys following along, watching the daily shorts.